Hello friends, I am an instructor here to teach you the MSP430 programming with Proteus. In this presentation, we will learn the digital input output ports registers and their significance in all MSP430 devices. So let's get started. MSP430 may have up to 12 digital input output ports implemented, P1 to P11 and PJ. Most ports contain 8 input output pins, however, some ports may contain less. Each input output pin is individually configurable for input or output direction. Each input output pin is individually read or written. Each input output pin is individually configurable for pull up or pull down resistors. Digital input output ports have interrupt capability on a rising or the falling edge of an input signal. There are eight important registers for digital input output operation. These are direction registers, input register, output registers, pull up pull down resistor enable registers. Interrupt flag registers, interrupt edge select registers, interrupt enable, function select registers. In MSP430 the register PXDIR controls the direction of the port input or output. Each bit in each PXDIR register selects the direction of the corresponding I.O. pin. Here X refers to the port number. Writing a 1 will make the corresponding port bit as output direction. Writing a 0 will make the corresponding port bit as input direction. PX in register gives the status of the respective pin. Each bit in each PX in register reflects the value of the input signal at the corresponding I.O. pin when the pin is configured as input direction. These registers are read only. If pin detects 1 signal it means that input is high. If pin detects 0 signal it means that input is low. The register PX out contains the data that is available to the outside pins. Each bit in each PX out register is the value to be output on the corresponding I.O. pin when the pin is configured as output direction. Writing a 1 will make the corresponding port bit high and writing a 0 will make the corresponding port bit low. The PX REN register enables or disables the internal pull-up pull-down resistor. Writing a 1 will enable the corresponding port pin pull-up slash pull-down resistor. Writing a 0 will disable corresponding port pin pull-up slash pull-down resistor. The PXN register enables or disables the interrupt. Writing a 1 will enable the corresponding port pin interrupt. Writing a 0 will disable corresponding port pin interrupt. The PXIFG register holds the interrupt flag for the corresponding input output pin. The interrupt flag is set when the selected input signal edge occurs at the pin. All PXIFG interrupt flags request an interrupt when their corresponding interrupt enable bit and the global interrupt bit are set. If bit is high then it indicates interrupt is not pending. If bit is low then it indicates interrupt is pending. The PXIES register select the interrupt edge for the corresponding input output pin. The interrupt flag is set when the selected input signal edge occurs at the pin. If bit is high then respective PXIFG flag is set on a low to high transition. If the bit is low then respective PXIFG flag is set on a high to low transition. Digital input output port pins are multiplexed with up to four different functions. The PXL and PXL2 registers allow the individual digital input output port pins to be associated with the internal peripheral module functions, or simply left as standard input output ports. The bit combinations of these registers for a particular pin will select a particular pin function. If PXL and PXL2 bit is low then input output function selected. If PXL bit is high and PXL2 bit is low then the primary module function selected. If PX cell bit is low and PXL2 bit is high then secondary module function selected. If PX cell bit is high and PXL2 bit is high then tertiary module function selected. This is it for now. Thank you.